Welcome back to Textbook Answers for Activity 5.3. I'm looking at Topic 5, which is the Internet and its uses. We'll be looking at data security issues that companies face when sharing data online. OK, so if we start with question one, a company has offices in four different countries. Communication and data sharing between offices is done via computers connected over the Internet. A describe three data security issues the company might encounter during their day-to-day -day communications and data sharing. Well, I'll list a few. Uh, we can start with um, brute force attack, hacking, uh, phishing, farming, and then social engineering, malware, such things like worms, viruses, spyware, and then of course we've got data interception, and we've got DDoS and denial of service attacks. But we'll break this down into the first three, brute force attacks, hacking and phishing. So a brute force attack is, um, is designed to crack passwords to get into your system. So therefore you need to make more complex passwords, includes letters, numbers, and characters, generally eight digits or more, something really complicated which nobody will be able to guess. Hacking, obviously this is trying to illegally access somebody's computer. So again, use firewalls, um, strong passwords, and maybe even biometrics to prevent people from being able to hack into your system. In terms of phishing, these are legitimate looking emails with links to fake websites. Don't open these links in the emails, use um, the latest browsers, and also ensure that downloads are done from HTTPS websites. So question two, explain the following three terms, A, worm, B, ransomware, and C, Trojan horse. First of all, a worm, well, this is like a digital bug that can quickly spread from one computer to another. It can cause serious problems to the computers. It infects um, spreading itself across the network and does, can do a lot of damage. Um, more dangerous than, uh, than viruses. Secondly, ransomware. Now this is a type of software that attacks your computer data and locks or encrypts it. The user has to pay a ransom, and something called ransomware, to get their data released. Okay, it can lock the system down or threaten to delete it. Very, very dangerous. And finally, Trojan horse. Now this pretends to be something useful or something legitimate, but when you open it, it can steal personal information or cause harm to your computer. Question three, John works for a car company. He maintains a database that contains all the personal data of the people working for the car company. John was born on the 28th of February, 1990, and has um, two pets called Felix and Max. John needs to use a password and a username to log onto the database. Why would the following passwords not be of good choice? Well, first of all, one, John's date of birth. Now this, um, for people who know John, this would be easy to find and uh, certainly easy to guess. It's just a date and it's only six characters long and it's only numbers. Number two, um, it's too close to the name of the pet and um, consecutive numbers, easy to crack. Felix, one, two, three, four. It's got a couple of capital letters in, but it's still easy to crack. And the third one, obviously we're using John's own name. So using his own name makes uh, for, for his password makes it easy to guess. John04. Okay, maybe his fourth attempt at creating a password. And finally, describe how John could improve his passwords and also how he should maintain his passwords to maximize database security. And then when John enters a password on his computer, he is presented with the following message on his screen. Would you like to save the password on this device? Why is it important that John always says no to this question? So B, use at least eight characters, upper and lower case, numbers, keyboard characters such as dollar signs, pound signs, question marks, and change the password on a regular basis. Sometimes things like Google do prompt you to do so. And then C, if John's computer is used or can be accessed by other people, then it is not a good idea to have the computer um, save your passwords, as these could be found and used or changed by other people, and they can access your data, of course. So that's it. That's it for this video. That's it for 5.3. I will see you next time. Thank you very much indeed. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. 
And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I would be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.